Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Frankie Hardwick with another video. And this video is my reaction to Omar Hardwick um, kissing Beyonce at the um, NAACP Awards, man. I mean, my outlook on that, man, it's like, I mean, mad people looking at it as like it was it was disrespectful. And I'm going to keep it honest, to, to a certain extent, it was disrespectful. You understand? You know what I mean? I understand that, you know, you know, you know, it's black celebrities getting together, meeting and greeting each other and things of that nature. And he probably was a fan. And if I'm not mistaken, I think they had a movie together. I think they had a movie together back in the day. I'm not sure. I don't know why I feel like I do. They did. But my thing is, like, if you, he, he, when you watch it from the beginning, like, when you see him taking a picture with Jay-Z, I don't know if a lot of people peep this part, but, like, when you watch him taking a picture with Jay-Z, it was like he couldn't wait to get to Beyonce to take the picture. Like, if you notice, after he took the picture, Jay reached his hand out a little bit to shake his hand a little bit, if you notice. And then he, but Omar Wick was so, Hardwick was so quick to go to Beyonce, it was like he didn't even realize that. You know what I mean? That, that kind of like struck me a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, whoa. And then and then another thing was the, was the double kiss. You know what I mean? Do you feel like that was too much? I mean, to an extent, it's like, all right, why the double kiss? All right, you got the first kiss. And it looked like he was saying something to her. And it was like, I understand, you know, like, you know, sometimes you'd be like, you know, you'd be probably proud of a person or whatever, and you wanted to say something in the second kiss. But at the same time, you got to have respect for a man's wife. Now, as far as how Jay should have handled it, like, I don't think Jay should have just flipped out or just wowed out right then and there. But... I do feel like, you know what I mean, it's like, you could have, like, when he, when after he did the second kiss and he was walking back, I think he should have hit him with another handshake, you know, pardon me for the clear, y'all, I think he should have hit, hit him with another handshake, you know, to pretty much show him, like, look, you know, getting that look, that, you know, that eye to eye look as I'm shaking your hand with a tight, firm grip, you understand, like, that, you know, you was doing a little bit too much, you know what I mean, ain't too much I'm going to say to do, but... You're doing a little bit too much, you know what I mean? You can say things in your eyes and a good handshake, and you can understand it's like telekinesis. You understand? You know what I'm saying. You know what I mean. But as me, I would have did that. You know what I mean? Me personally, I would have did that. Because it's like, bro, like, the second kiss was a little too much, you know what I mean? Like I said, you see me standing right there. You know what it is, you know what I mean? You ain't got to be all affectionate like that. that ain't not, it's not like y'all brothers and sisters and y'all had every type of relationship. Or maybe they do. I don't know, but... From the looks of Beyonce's face, you can clearly see they don't have that, that relationship. You understand? Like, like at that moment, Beyonce had that look like, oh, boy. Like, either was the look of everybody about to be on me, or either that look about to be, or me and Jay going to get into the night, or or her beehives or something. It was, she had that type of look. And at that moment, man, let's keep it real. Let's keep it 100. As men, it's like, you want to be mad at her? But you can't, like, you can't be mad at Beyonce at this moment. Like, nobody can't be, be mad at Beyonce, even Jay. He can't be mad at her. Like, what was she supposed to do? Like, elbow the nigga, push him off? That would have been way awkward. That would have been a bigger story. So, I feel like Beyonce paid it cool. I'm going to keep it 100. But I feel like, I feel like, Jay, my man, that's really twisted. That's one of my favorite rappers. Like, I fucks with Jay. That's my dude. My he that dude. Like, I really respect him. But... I feel like it might be a little something behind the scenes going on after this. I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna make it seem like you know Jay on some some bullshit. But if it's an opportunity with Jay be, could be involved in a situation that Omar Hardwick can involve with, I can see Jay putting Vito in some situations that got that that he can have a control of. I definitely can see that. You know what I mean? I, I, that's just me. You know what I mean? Because. As a man, you're going to feel some type of way, and then it's all over the YouTube and everywhere. Like, everybody talking about this shit. You know what I mean? Like, so I feel like, me personally, I'd have had to do something. Like, whether it be a tight-ass handshake and me looking you dead in your eye type shit. But he wilded out with that. I don't know whether he was nervous or whatever, but he kind of wilded out with that. You know what I mean? Or it could have just been simple. Like, But like I said... The, 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 the thing that made the situation change was Beyonce's reaction. That's what made it change. You know what I mean? It was, if now Beyonce didn't have that certain reaction, then, then that situation would have been different. 
But that reaction Beyonce gave, it looked like she wasn't feeling that shit. Jay, it was a quick reaction, but you can't really see. But Jay plays, you know, he, he got a poker face, so he ain't really thinking that. He ain't going to show you his cards right there and there. But I can promise you, he felt he felt a little bit bothered by it. But, you know, that was just my outtake on that video. You know what I mean? On that situation. But um, it is what it is. Holla at your boy. It's your boy Frankie Hardwork, man. Be easy.